Hello everybody, this is Loki, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. So, we're gonna see about the time here. Might as well just sneak out from that. <laughs> hey, there's the passage right, right here. Okay. Must be a door here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm all sneaking back past the people. I do not want to deal with them. Nope. <laughs> I just escaped a bunch of people. <laughs> How did they not notice that I left the house? <laughs> it's like, oh my god, he just looked past after him. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Is he having another one of those panic attacks around people? Oh god. Alright. Gonna so gonna have to make it through the crowd. Real quick? I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. So he can't go through crowds? I need to find the water. Oh god. Why is he walking so slow? I, oh god. I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god. You could do it, man. You could do it. No? What's going on? Did everything freeze in time? What the heck? Falling down like rug dolls. Dad. Dad, where are you? Jason. <laughs> I was just everyone just fall, falling down like a big old rag doll. Hey, son! <laughs> Over here. Jason! Dad. Oh my god. I was all just touching people. They're falling down like rag dolls anyway. Jason! Completely forgot about this part. <laughs> Dad. Jason! Oh my god, this beginning just like the other one. Oh my god. Is he actually having like one of those memories that come back, like one of those flashbacks? Hey, that was. Come on, dude, you're gonna have to get up. People say they think wrong of you. <laughs> what's wrong with that man? Why is he down on the floor? <laughs> and everyone's back to normal. Oh 
Line 18, box number 3. 18, 3. So I have to look at all oh, 3. Wrong locker. There we go. Found it. All I had to do was just go to section 18 and find all three. How do you? The, how did the man manage to sneak the box through there? <laughs> what's inside? Let's see what's inside, shall we? I want to see what's inside. Up with the bot, darn it. <laughs> Whatever it is, how the person managed to get a box full of stuff past it. <laughs> Let's see. It's a really snazzy little hotel room, though. That time, let's look in there. Whew. There's what that they'll get. Whoever put the bots in the locker, how in the world did they manage to get that past the security alarm thing when they're like the gun? How? Okay. Let's see what this says. Let's just hope I could, could do good on this. Joe's gro- Oh! My god. I hope I did this good. Garage and parking lot. Yeah. Oh my God, he's right there. Dad. Sean. He's in the sewer area. Back in the box here, and then put it here. 
don't know anyone else looking at it. <laughs> Mom gone. <coughs> Alright, time for him to leave. Alright. Let's see if I can remember how to do this, though. It's been a long time, because I had it on the PlayStation 3. And... Once it becomes the other character's turn, and I go back to him. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. <laughs> I just hope I can remember. Animals, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. I like how you can, like, push the triangle and the, the fade out of the... Where's all that get <laughs> On there is all... On the protector. The best way to be calm. The predator is to be familiar with his behavior. Throughout the whole game... I remember sure my first gameplay of this. I was calm. at stake here. <laughs> Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? I like that little projector. All the victims are drowning in <laughs> rainwater. The killer kills How only in the fall all the stuff. of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical yeah, distribution a point. of the murders. Generally, a killer I noticed that. murder near to where he lives. Like so the he origami killer always to does it in rain. Arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. It's how like if rain, like for example, someplace floods, floods I was able more to likely for a person to live. drown in a flood. And what size then, is this, uh... Zone. Anywhere else? For the moment. And I don't like this guy. About ten guy square miles. Jerk. Oh, great. There must be ten thousand people living that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It doesn't hurt. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. Yeah, the point there. The so more likely we'll next? reduce it. There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. <laughs> Man, I'm liking that projector. <laughs> We're wasting our time with this bullshit. No projector could be just perfect for movies. We gotta get off our asses and find them. No, no. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. <laughs> Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job or did you just fucking read about it in some school book your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered fucking asshole that Jesus is Christ <laughs> calm yourself man you said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. I just explained it here how much time do we have left Weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. It's better to get knowledge of what's gonna happen than to <laughs> just up and go. More polite than not. No one's answering. Might as well leave. <laughs> we waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Hmm. Yeah. Seems I'm, like I'm the only one polite there here. You're gonna have to pay for that I'm door, sure Mister. That's entirely legal. <laughs> Call the cops. Why don't I arrest them? <laughs> Break it and entering. <laughs> Man, this guy doesn't realize it's break it and entering when you just kick the door open without permission. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. So this guy's He's a religious a God nutcase? fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. 
I have to take a look around here. We questioned him a few months back because oh, he was God. causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard so voices. many crosses. Had this idea I heard of people have a war one, but this is a cattle over doing it. Man, if I were gonna have one of these boxes, I would just have like one. One is enough. Okay, let's just go in this room. Oh, wait, 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 I need to go to the bookcase. Really nice picture. See here? Huh. Bed. That's a bed. When all that cause a, when all those ca candles cause a fire. What the heck? He has all this in here. Huh? Is that breaking it? Entering. Try it. It's just like, oh, okay, cut the darn door open. And he has all this. And this guy has candles everywhere. One that started a fire. Somebody need to do dishes here. Seriously needs a good scrub down. What down here? Huh. Yeah, follow this guy. Look at this table here. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what else I have to do here, but. Oh my God, the guy came. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Nice talking religious Relax. stuff Nobody's now. Nobody's accusing you of anything. <laughs> I just want to talk. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God yeah. shall strike men down. <laughs> I'm preparing for the end of the world. I really have to be careful on this part. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the all. salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who I talks really to you. I really want to reason with this guy. I never know if the reasoning Don't would help. Speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about Blake, it. Blake, what are you doing? He mustn't talk about it. He orders That's you to enough. go and find Leave new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. 
You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. I want to intervene. Courage. Told you to go and find oh, that darn it. You the voice is tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you in your trial. man. Isn't that right? No. Stop. 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 You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? And this guy's a jerk. Leave the poor bed alone. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Saw you you had the freaking gun. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake. Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Yeah, sure. Nobody here wants to hurt you. But the I want to reassure him. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of His empire and may divine power okay. cast Satan. I'll and have to do is just keep on reassuring him. the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. Please. <laughs> now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Please drop it. <laughs> All we're doing is just wanting to talk to you. <laughs> Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot the guy because oh, it would be fuck. wrong. In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. At least he doesn't have a gun. <laughs> Okay, free. I'd rather have over. him have the little arrest. cross than the gun. At least the cross is much more Pretty safer damn than cool the gun. Under the circumstances, I would have just shot him. A gun is in the answer wouldn't... to every problem. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Maybe a gun not. is not an answer to everything. Most of the time it helps. It's not gonna solve your problems with a gun. At least with the cross, the cross is much more safer than the gun. I rather prefer the the cross. Now this guy now. <coughs> I think I did better, way good on that. It's like I didn't want to shoot the guy and I wanted to reason with him. Reasoning, reasoning with people is better than is it again again them? Because when you're reasoning. When you're reasoning, reasoning is much more better and safer that way. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later. Bye guys.